I'm done making Yu-Gi-Oh content. I'm really sorry to all my fans that only watch my Yu-Gi-Oh videos, but please, go watch my other videos. I put so much work into them that they're honestly way better. I came to this decision when I was trying to play in the Femboy Championship Series playing Dragon Maid, so if I'm Warfage Sloth mained. Somehow I actually went 4-1, and then I was one win shy of topping the event and I could make some funny content when I encountered this player. This fucking stupid Super Quantal player would just activate the field spell every turn, and because I didn't open up any hand traps, I lost, even though I was playing an objectively better deck. Uh, I also played uh, 42 cards. I had that going for me. And it was at this time I called this person a fucking idiot on stream and mauled it to myself for doing the equivalent of roleplaying in my PMs when I just wanted to normal summon chamber and make some funny Dragon Maid deck profiles. I lost the match 0-2 because I bricked game 1 and I tilted out of my mind so hard that during game 2 I misplayed horribly. And by misplayed, I mean I forgot to activate Droll, as well as them opening three one ofs and a starter. Really good game, by the way. Now, there's so much wrong with this. First of all, why am I being punished for not opening perfectly? I can understand for losing for misplays, which I definitely didn't do by forgetting to activate Droll, but opening f three limited cards? What is this, fucking pussy-ass baby preschool time? Interactive gameplay is the main reason why people want to play Yu-Gi-Oh along with the community, not just staring down unbreakable boards or this stupid, unaffected Magnus Tower. I might as well just play Invoked if Konami wants people to act and play like fucking robots. I wonder if they understand that the root of toxicity and people's dissatisfaction within the game and apathy towards Yu-Gi-Oh is the game itself, it's just not fun and it pisses people off. Let me be serious here, Yu-Gi-Oh doesn't work as a competitive game or a fun party game to play with your friends. As of today, I've been playing for about 3 years, so I have some legitimate grounds to review the game on. Online simulators like Dueling Book and Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro are some of the most unintuitive and soulless experiences I've ever played when it comes to online play. It is a testing ground at best, not an actual substitute for real life play. Half of the matches result in people just soullessly saying, effect, activate effect, thinking, effect, for 30 minutes until somebody loses, or people just trading insults or sharking one another until a judge shows up and bans me. Yo, are we banned already? Oh, we did it! New world record! The game is filled with one to two card starters and combos that have no real room for creativity since, more or less, they all are completely linear except for a few certain combo decks that find new ways to floodgate you with either actual floodgates like VFD when that was in its prime, or just negates and stupid interruption that has no real counterplay. People don't fucking shower. There is no actual documentation of player performance outside of world's points in Yu-Gi-Oh! top decks where I won YCS Brazil with 6 copies of Necro Valley and 4 copies of Mystic Mine. Most of these things stem from just the game constantly inhibiting how good you can actually perform in a game without serious luck factor being involved. In any great competitive video game, there are so many techniques and opportunities for a great player to just whoop some ass when it comes to pure skill, intuition, and practice alone, instead of having to rely on some random RNG luck to just draw XYZ card. Even professional players, people who have dedicated hours, days, years of their lives to dedicating themselves to getting better at this game, they don't really even have these options most of the time, despite how hard they train and practice, just because this game wants to cater to the biggest audience possible to make the most money off of, like Call of Duty. It's just gonna stay that way forever. And that's what I feel like I'm doing with my Yu-Gi-Oh videos. Even though my appreciation for this game is waning all the time and I want to hit you guys with all these different kinds of videos, and I've stuck with it because I know my fans want to see me play Yu-Gi-Oh! Even with all these interactive new sort of combo decks that these pro players are brewing up, again, th these metagames are just completely nullified and just made completely rendered stale because Konami wants to push product or they just completely overlook some stupid dumb floodgate XEs monster and completely ruin a format. At its best, Yu-Gi-Oh! is just something to play in the background, like talk to your friends, but a lot of the time it's either too frustrating or monotonous in my opinion. If I'm playing casually with friends or viewers and we actually get into it and try to win seriously, we'll just get mad at each other and start yelling and getting into an argument or just feeling really apathetic and tilted over the game overall. But most of the time, it's just people alt-tabbing out of Dueling Book and paying very little attention to the game, just going on their phones, you know? It just isn't engaging. And then the match stretches into the 40 and 50 minute mark into time and nobody really even gives a shit at that point. 
The matches just go on for way too long every single time, and the time rules don't make it any better, or they just feel completely one-sided with negates and floodgates and just extremely build-a-board-based formats that even though these matches are actually pretty short, maybe in the 20-30 to 30 minute range, they feel like an eternity to play against because, again, there's very little interaction going on in these sort of formats, like in the Jet Synchron format, or last format even. So no, I'm not really enjoying this game. Nobody I'm playing with is even really enjoying it. But I still really wanted to finish this video up for you guys, because you know, when I got all this footage assembled and I've accomplished what I've set out to do for the video, so I PM'd Julia Heidberg and I said, hey, could you guys unban me so I can finish this video up? Now keep in mind, during my whole career of being the top guy promoting their game for three years, Konami has done almost nothing to help me out or promote me, and I emailed them for this first and only favor, and they responded to me, Nope, you're a cheater. And this is when I realized that this company doesn't appreciate me or at all or anything that I stand for. I think tabletop games should be rewarding for all the time and practice that you put into them and that you should be able to call people scumfuck bastards for playing two Red Eyes Fusion and Dino, what the fuck? And that you should be able to connect with your friends and have fun playing with them. And Yu-Gi-Oh no longer really offers any of these things, so I'm done with it. I'm done playing Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll continue to play other games and make videos because it's my passion. I love to make you guys laugh and I want to keep making better videos and I want to represent games that I truly enjoy. And Yu-Gi-Oh has honestly just lost my respect. It's lost the magic that used to make it so fun for me. And honestly, it really feels like it's lost its soul. <sighs> That's about it for this video. Wait, hold up, new Don Juan video? Let me check this shit out. Hey guys, I just want a quick announcement to let you guys know that I am actually going to be returning to Yu-Gi-Oh!